Hey everybody, welcome back to Active Self-Protection Extra. It's Neil continuing on with the advanced marksmanship in the Mantis X10. Join me. Today's video was brought to us by Mantis. The Mantis family of products is integral to ASP staff building handgun and carbine skills and are your most economical and fastest path to improvement in your skills too. Whether you choose the X10, the Laser Academy, the Blackbeard, or use them all in concert, they will help your practice be more effective, efficient, and fun. Go check them out, pick up a unit, and thank them for sponsoring today's video. All right, so if you watched last week's video, you saw that I got through about the first half of the advanced marksmanship uh, drill on the Mantis X here. I'll give you some screenshots, and hopefully you had screenshots last week as well. Uh, but what this is, is this is one of the uh, drills uh, or one of the courses of fire, pardon me, uh, within the Mantis X, uh, on the, specifically the X10 app that I'm working on here. So if you scroll all the way down, hopefully we've got some screenshots somewhere here. I don't know where they are. Uh, but if you go to the main page of the training page and scroll all the way down, you can see there's courses. Uh, we've already done the introduction and the basic marksmanship. This is the advanced marksmanship one. Um, uh, no, I don't want to start over. So if you click on it and you've been following along, if you click on it from down there, it's going to keep going. Uh, but if up top here, it already shows how much I've got done. I've gotten through the first five challenges, got a few more let to go here, and we're going to try to hustle through these, uh, all of them. This is now a thing that's done over a period of a few days um, to a week's time. And so I've got some inside baseball on how to speed that up so I can make one video of it all for you. Um, but I'm up to challenge number six. And challenge number six, if you read right across the top of the screen here, it says, shoot the primary hand, only drill with all shots above 80. <laughs> okay, so uh, then I just scroll down here to the primary hand only. Uh, I'm gonna hit start in just a second here. And I've got to get 10. So it's basically a, a, a benchmark type of drill here. Uh, again, for those of you following along home, I've got my uh, mag base plate adapter here. So I put the Mantis X down here on the bottom. That way I can just holster the gun up. I can do all the holster work as well. Barrel blocked up and I am ready to go. So primary hand only, here we go. Ninety-two. Eighty-four. Whew. Come on, y'all. Ninety-eight. Eighty-three. Ninety-four. That's the first five. Half done. Eighty-four. 90. 95. 96. One more. Here we go. 89. Ooh. All right, I got the fireworks. I'm happy. So you guys are watching this a week later. It's, it's been 15 minutes since I finished the last video, so my hands are still a little bit fatigued. I've probably pulled the trigger, uh, what, 150, uh, close to 200 times now. So uh, yes, I know I'm a sissy, 200 trigger presses, all in dry fire in the span of about 20 minutes this is a lot for me. I know it's probably not for you, uh, but let's move on to challenge number seven here. Challenge number seven is support hand only with all the scores above 80. All the scores, it's not the average, it's all the scores. So if you shank one, uh, you've got to start over. And, and I think one of the fun things about the these courses of fire, it's not always just a pass fail. If you fail, you get another chance to do this. Um, so I'm gonna try to get this one support hand only. Everything above 80, 10 shots. Really the way that I'm doing this uh, at this point is I am just focusing on the process um, and doing my very best to get good scores. All right, here we go. 93. 95. 87. 93. Ooh, my dog's just wiggling back and forth here. I'm just completely unsteady and now I'm nervous. 87. Halfway. 
84 85 89 Two more. 92 82 Woo! About shanked it on the very last one. But I'll take the fireworks at an average of 89.3 uh, offhand. Not going to complain. Moving right along here, it's going to give me challenge number A to shoot 100 or shots or more in one day. Now, this does not all have to be an open training or any of these. It's 100 shots total um, in any of these things. So I'm just going to do the open training. I'm going to crank off 100 dry fire uh, shots here. And um, hopefully by the magic of cinnamon photography is that the right word uh hopefully we get this thing going a little bit quicker so you don't have to sit here and watch me go at, in at regular speed here but i'm going to try to get through these quickly here we go 87 86 86 93 93 85 95 97 95 97 95 92 that's halfway my hands are starting to feel the real fatigue here so yes I'm not in as good a shape as you are I'm also averaging an okay number here so last one's a 94 uh, let's get 50 more here we go 89 
All right, there are a hundred shots. Uh, I'm gonna stop that. Average of 92 over 100 shots with some fatigue. And look, I've got fireworks. I'm pretty tickled about that. Gonna go back to the train, see my progression uh, bar go. And I'm gonna get challenge number five. Shoot five shots and compress surprised break. An average score above 90 and an average time of less than dot six twice in a row. Oh boy. Okay, so this looks like this is gonna be fun. So shoot five shots and compress surprise break with an average score above 90 and an average time less than dot six two times in a row. So this ought to be fun. I don't know if you know, but I'm kind of a sissy, so I'm, so I'm sweating here. Man, I can see why they break this up over a few days here because um, I'm, I'm feeling it right in here. So I really focus on my pinkies in my grip. And so uh, if you're fatigued after a time, you should get some fatigue from dry fire. If your fatigue is up here, it potentially means you're gripping with the wrong part of your hand or a different part of your hand than I do. Uh, I like to focus on the pinkies because I think it, it helps with the recoil. Um, a lot of people would argue that that is the right way to do that. So uh, if you're feeling some fatigue right down here, it just says that you're doing things right. One thing I'll caution you about is a couple of years ago, I got really serious about trying to, uh, trying to do well in a class that I was going to, and I really upped my dry fire game to a significantly higher level than I had been. I got to the point where I gave myself basically tennis elbow, um, and I couldn't, I couldn't hardly shake hands for a year, let alone go out and shoot very well. It jacked everything up here. So, um, you know, those of us that are reaching uh, higher ages um, and don't do this stuff on a very regular basis uh, and or um, it might be something to consider. Don't push yourself beyond what you need to push yourself beyond. A little bit of fatigue is fine, but if it starts to hurt, you probably need to stop. If, if it does hurt, typically we're doing something wrong in our technique and we need to get some help to figure that out. So if you're feeling like physical pain somewhere rather than just a little bit of tiredness, um, stop, videotape yourself, join us in the Ask Dry Fire group, put it in there and just say what you've got going on. You'll get a lot of great help uh, from that there. But uh, if it hurts, don't do it. That's the rule that I, <laughs> that I, I don't know, somebody taught me that when I was little. All right, so I've got to do compressed surprise break. Here we go. <laughs> so see if you shoot early, it doesn't count it for you. So here we go. 89. Didn't get the 90. 89. 97. 94. 94. Okay, so didn't get all of them above 90, so no fireworks for Neil. It's gonna have me go again. 89. Still shoot already. Hang on, I'm gonna stop this and just reset it. Here we go. 96. 90. 92. 94. 88. All right, so I got fireworks, so I must have done something right here. Average score of 92 with a dot 44, so I slowed down a little bit instead of jerking it when you're when I'm uh, fatigued, uh, you know, and you really try to press through there. A lot of times, what will happen is if we'll lose focus on the process and we'll over grip with this hand, and that really makes things a little bit harder. So you have to relax your your on your your strong hand uh, a little bit uh, so you can get a nice, easy, smooth trigger press here. So. Uh, let's see here, progress bar moves. We're up to challenge number 10, complete the benchmark and get above 90 or better. I feel like I've done this a lot today. Uh, you've seen it a couple weeks apart here, but here we go with a benchmark. Got to get above a 90. There we go. 98. 87. Oh. <sighs> 97. 96. 97. 96. 91. 96. 93. 94. Two more, here we go. 
94. 95. Okay. Oh, looky here. Advanced marksmanship is complete. I can put my name in here and they will send me uh, the advanced marksmanship patch, which I already have because I did it once before, so I'm not going to fill it out again here. Um, but uh, let's see here. I'm just going to say no thanks to that. Uh, I got a 94. It took me a little less than a minute to do that last one. And the... Uh, the advanced marksmanship is done and complete. So I can shut that off here. Um, so folks, uh, you know, I, I know that I did this in a little over an hour here and uh, we split it up over two weeks so that you could kind of see that and see what's going on here. The Mantis X10 is kind of a fun one to use because it pushes us to do some stuff that we wouldn't necessarily do. Uh, it gives us some guidance. And I know that, you know, there's a lot of experts out there that don't need that guidance. There's a lot of us that do, and I'm one of them. Sometimes I'm like, you know, I just don't know what to do on dry fire today. I can pop this thing up. There's the daily challenges and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I can do some dry fire challenges, or I can go in and do a course of fire that will help lead me through that. Um, as I've gotten a little bit better at this over the years, yeah, I probably don't need that as much but there is a lot to it and uh, I think it's a fun drill we appreciate the Mantis guys coming along with us and helping us over the years they've been a great sponsor and great to work with and if you don't have an X10 right now consider going getting one if you've got one collecting dust here's some fun stuff to do you can join uh, the group the Ask Dry Fire Challenge group you can come into Facebook and join us there as well and have some fun with it I recommend that you do you do you and have some fun